Hey guys, Tim here from Comb TV. A little excited because uh, we're here with Tom Carter who plays for the Waratahs and um, it, to be honest with you, I've seen a lot of fitness people today but this guy's a machine, like this guy is a ball of muscle and they were joking about setting up a take where he's going to see if he tackles me how far down the expo I'd go and I was worried I'd go out the back but Tom, thank you very much for joining us. Ah, uh, pleasure, yeah, thanks very much for having me. No, absolutely. Now, um, I wanted to have a chat to you because obviously health and fitness is a big part of your life. You're at the very elite level, so more than most people will ever get to. But can you talk a little bit about what sort of keeping healthy and fit, why it's important to you? Yeah, look, absolutely. I mean, I was fortunate enough to study a Master of Exercise Science at university. And I think uh, also being able to then play professional sport for, for eight or nine years, I think it's probably... Um, you know, it, it is the essence to your happiness to an extent. You know, I, I, I think I can only relate anecdotally to my stories, but when I've had really bad injuries and I haven't been able to walk and I've been on crutches or I've had surgery and, and you lose function, it really does get you down. And I think that when you're feeling mentally and physically so down, um, being able to be active and, 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 and exercise, A, you, you miss it, but it also helps you when you're able to do it and how much better you feel about your life. And, you know, we play in an industry where we're, I guess, judged on how we perform. Um, and there's not much we can control, but being able to physically prepare really well gives us a sense of control in our lives. And uh, I suppose we take it to the nth degree. We're a little bit excessive, compulsive and, and in, in, in how we prepare. But I think it's about being able to make decisions for your life and uh, it gives you a good perspective and good balance. Can I, I think it'd be interesting for some of the people at home because we've obviously got a lot of fitness professionals watching, but I don't think a lot of people have got or understand the elite ball. Can you give the guys an idea of sort of how much you would actually train per week? And we're in the middle of the season now, but sort of give us an idea of your regime. Yeah, sure. So we probably get four weeks annual leave a year, which is around October. And then we start pre-season, which is uh, seven weeks before Christmas. Um, so from starting from November just to the third week of December. And that probably involves five to six days a week and you're probably doing three or four sessions a day. You know, that varies from weights to speed to conditioning to skill sessions, um, flexibility, yoga, Pilates or, or rehab, and then recovery. Um, in season at the moment, we've just come off an eight day preparation going into Sunday's big game against the Crusaders. So uh, we train my, Mon let me get this right, so we had Monday off. Um, we trained uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, had Thursday off, trained today, and then we'll do a light run tomorrow morning uh, in preparation for the game. So, and then that's, that's just on the field and then weights and uh, yoga and, and things off it. So uh, physically I'm feeling pretty good at the moment so I don't have to do too much rehab or physio, but you know, it's, it's always in that constant cycle of trying to get your body up for the game. And, and we travel to New Zealand and South Africa and across Australia. So that's probably the other thing, recovering from travel. Amazing. So I guess a lot of people listening would be going, well, that's that's overtraining for the average person. But for you, it's not 100% every session, is it? It's really listening to the body and how yeah. it's feeling? No, look, I think I've described quite an extensive period. But look, we limit our sessions to probably 45 to 60 minutes uh, during the week at the moment, uh, both in weights and on the field, um, just to make sure, you know, hormonally you're recovering. And it's all about recovery. Like, that is the key. You know, you don't want to stress your body out so much that you feel exhausted by Sunday, but also or Saturday, but you want to be prepared to play. So, you know, we've got all the sports science and we get that balance right. And, um, you know, we do all our, our well-being and screenings. And I think it's about knowing your body. I, I, I feel for me, it's probably at the back end of my career, I, I regret training so stupidly when I was young. You know, you feel like you're bulletproof and you can do everything and, and you recover. But as you get older, you realise your timeline's probably coming to an end and uh, you need to value your body and look after it. So I think I've had uh, about 20 uh, 20 operations, so I'm, I'm probably at that point in my career where I realised that, that in hindsight, uh, a little bit more common sense and uh, intelligence regarding the training would have helped. And you know, now it's about getting the balance right. I think I've been fortunate enough to play 65 out of the last 66 games from Super Rugby. Touch wood. Um, and you know, I'll put that down to yoga and having a balanced perspective on it. And yeah, I do. And and, and, and looking after your body. You know, you've got to know when you're um, when you're tired and you're exhausted and not when to push yourself and um, yeah, that's probably the battle. Now, I won't hold Tom up for much longer, but um, he's been kind enough to give his time for Fit for Good, which everyone watching knows that we're really supporting the channel. Tom, do you maybe just tell us a little bit how you see the importance of exercise in communities to help them sort of, I guess, as a, as a whole, keep active and motivated? Yeah, look, absolutely. I think it's a tremendous thing, Fit for Good. Uh, I came in, I grew up in remote New South Wales, uh, country New South Wales, so about seven hours away. 
and I feel like uh, you know it's it's very hard when you're struggling to I guess uh, have perspective and feel like there's a um, you know a brighter or, or you know or I guess um, hope out there and I think exercise gives you the opportunity to feel really good about yourself and I guess challenge yourself in ways that perhaps you're not given those opportunities to and I think it's a really good launching pad for you to get your life back on track and also I think perhaps get some uh, happiness and self-control in your life when things are really tough so I think it's a tremendous cause and you know please let's everyone get behind it um, it'll be really worthwhile and I think we can change a lot of people's lives who really need it and you know I'm fortunate I, I get to do exercise for a job and I'm very privileged and special but I think there's a lot of people out there that, that are doing it tough so yeah it's a great cause to get behind it. So I want to thank Tom very much for his time. For those of you on Twitter, get behind him. We, he's got, he's got, as he said, you're at a tipping point of the season for the Waratahs. Need a win. Listen, he, I've only met him for a few minutes yet. The worst thing about him is he goes for Geelong Football Club. But apart from that, he seems a genuinely good guy. Get behind him. Get behind the Waratahs this year. And Tom, thank you so much for taking the time and you know investing in fit for good. We much appreciate it. Uh, thanks very much, and uh, yeah, really appreciate it, Tom. Thank you.